In this video, we're going to talk about phrasal verbs and how they are formed. At any point, you can pause the video if you need to study it longer or rewind to hear something again. Phrasal verbs are often called two-word verbs and sometimes three-word verbs when they are followed by a specific preposition. A phrasal verb consists of a verb and a particle. The verb by itself is changed in, in meaning when it has a particle. A particle looks like a preposition, but it doesn't function as a preposition when we are talking about phrasal verbs. There are two types of phrasal verbs, separable and inseparable. Phrasal verbs that are separable, as you could guess, can be separated. So I can say, she picked up the phone, or I can separate the verb and the particle and say, she picked the phone up. If the noun or the object is a pronoun, he, she, it, him, hers, um, and so on, that pronoun must come between the verb and the particle. So we would say, she picked it up. We cannot say inseparable phrasal verbs, she picked up it. The pronoun must separate the verb and the particle. Some phrasal verbs are inseparable. That means they must, the verb and the particle must stay together. He counts on your calls. He counts on them. In this case, when it is inseparable, remember in means not, we cannot say he counts them on. They must, the verb and the particle must stay together. He counts on your calls. He counts on them. They keep on calling. They keep on doing it. I cannot say they keep calling on. If a verb is intransitive, that means it does not have to have an object. So we can just say, they sat down. We don't have to give an object. For example, they sat down here. They sat down on the chair. As I mentioned, some phrasal verbs take a preposition. In these cases, you have a subject, a verb, a particle, which looks like a preposition, and then a preposition. Often, these prepositions should be learned with the verb and the particle as a group of words. So here we have, I hung up on the caller, or I hung up on him. They came up with this idea, or they came up with this. Again, I recommend thinking of these as three-word verbs that should be learned as a phrase, hung up on, or to hang up on, to come up with. More information on the form of phrasal verbs. As I mentioned before, a phrasal verb has two parts, the verb and the particle. In the sentence, I got off the phone, the verb get plus the particle off form the phrasal verb to get off, or in this case, to hang up. As you can see, the sentence is in the simple past tense. I got off the phone quickly. Some common phrasal verb, some common particles with phrasal verbs are in, out, up, down, on, and off call in, to fill in, to turn in, to find out, to throw out, to try out. Learning verbs with common particles is a good way to study phrasal verbs, to fill up, to hang up, to pick up. Particles look like prepositions, but they act differently. Prepositions tell where something might happen. 
Particles change the meaning of the verb, but prepositions do not. In the sentence, I looked up and saw a large bird to look toward the sky. Here we see a verb plus a preposition to look up, but with a phrasal verb to look up with a verb and a particle means I tried to find his number. I looked up his number online. 